welcome to Kansala Labs dear student so this is Patala the channel if you are education channel here we solve many types of videos as well as which are related to different standards right from 6th standard to 10th standard as well are in a final stage of SSLC so that's why we have decided to solve an important question paper which was released by board for your examination preparation so it's model question paper number 2022-23 so in this video or you can see from this video we are going to start the model question paper which is related to math subject so every question will be discussed and every question will be solved but not only this video series will be about solving the question paper with this we'll be learning some tricks as well as some important points which we need to know before facing our final examination so definitely the 10 time video series is going to help you a very 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 much so i promise you that one so if you will be with us for this entire video series then definitely you will be getting a important knowledge as well as along with that important point so to get all these videos you need to first subscribe our channel and press the bell icon as well as from the bell icon you need to select the option called all so that you can get every video's message in your phone so do subscribe our channel and do not forget to share these videos with your friends So students, as you all can see on your screen, Nataka School Examination and Assessment Board. So this is going to be a new board for your final examination. So it has released SFLC model question paper for the year that is particularly 2022 and 23. And this one is a mathematics question paper of English medium. So as you can see the timing, it's totally 3 hours I and mean 15 minutes. So 15 minutes will be provided for you people just for reading purpose remember this is for reading purpose so that you can decide which question that i can solve and which question is difficult and all those things the planning must go on in these 15 minutes and according to the plan you have to utilize the three r in the best way as you can and along with that you all know that the question paper is going to be 80 marks not of 100 marks okay so let's begin with the first question now so for the first minute as you can see four alternatives are given it means these are mcq questions and check this one write the complete answer along with its letter of alphabet even this part is very very important from examination point of view so what does this mean as you can see we have a question number one and it has four options right so out of these four options definitely one is going to be a correct answer for example 13 is the correct answer then so many students what they do usually they write question number one and 13 so students this is not the best way to represent your paper with this type of writing so what the board is expecting from you people is write the answer along with the alphabet as you can see 13 is option b it means you have to write the answer even with the option letter so this is the best way you can write clear okay let's begin with the first question now Okay, if the nth term of the AP, it means this question is uh, from arithmetic progression. In this, as you can see, there is a general term n is equal to 3n plus 1. Then the fourth term of the progression is asked. So, as you can see, this is a very simple question to begin with the question paper. So, the fourth term in the sense, as you can see in this general form or a general term, as you can see, this where all you can see n just substitute 4 and just calculate so that is a n stands for 4 now that's equal to 3 as it is and n stands for 4 right so plus 1 so that's equal to 4 3 is it's going to be 12 plus 1 and 12 plus 1 is going to be 13 it means our correct answer is option b 13 but i have already told you how to represent your answer here it is so question number one option b 13 in this way you have to write your entire answer paper and should be very neatly written okay enough question number two the rational number having a non-terminating so do not get confused start non-terminating and repeating so usually in your textbook the word is like terminating and non repeating something like that the question is there but here it is non-terminating and repeating decimal out of these four given options that we have to find it out 
So as you all know, this question is asked from a topic called real numbers. And the real numbers, last exercise, almost the last two to three type of questions. So in those questions, these type of sums are there. So what is the idea here? Find out the rational number, which is the non-terminating. Non-terminating, when we can say a number is non-terminating or a number is terminating, it all depends upon the denominator. So as you can see denominator, if it has a 5 as well as 2, otherwise 5 and 2, if it comes in the denominator, then definitely that number is a terminating. Hope you all remember this idea from the real number. So once again, I am going to repeat the idea, just, just concentrate. In the denominator, if we get 5 or 2 or 5 and 2, both if we get, then that means the entire number or the rational number is going to be a terminating rational number. Okay, let's just check with this all idea, these all four options too. Okay, going with the first one, 1 upon 5 square. 5 square in the sense, it's nothing but 5 into 5. It means in the denominator we have only 5. It means this is going to be a terminating rational number. Hope you are getting this now. And coming to the option B. So in the numerator you can see there is a 7. Once again I'll remind, 7 if it remains in the numerator then that's not going to affect the calculation. Only we need to check the denominator. So as you can see the denominator there is 2 as well as there is 5. So if 2 is there and if 5 if we have then definitely this is also going to be a terminating rational number. Now coming to the option C. In the numerator we have 5. So we are not going to bother about the numerator. We just have to focus on the denominator. As you can see denominator is having 2 but along with that 7 is there. It means apart from 2 and 5 in the denominator if any other number comes then definitely that number is the non-terminating number. So by this way without any calculation with just a brief idea we can find the solution. Let's check the even fourth option. What does it mean? 1 upon 2 cube. 2 cube in the sense it's nothing but just 2 into 2 into 2. That means in the denominator just 2 is there. So when 2 is available in the denominator it means definitely this also is going to be a terminating it means this is the r required correct answer so hope you understood the realization so the answer is option c 5 by 2 into 7 so both these sums are clear let's move for the next one question number three in a class the number of boys it stands for x is 5 more than the number of girls that is 1 then the linear equation from this statement is okay as you can see there are 4 options okay, okay we will analyze 1 by 1 so first just check the statement once again the number of boys that is x okay number of boys that is x is 5 more than is 5 more than more in the sense definitely we get a plus sign is 5 more than number of girls means number of girls is represented by y so it's going to be y it means this is the required equation just checking these four options do we have such equation x is equal to y plus 5 so as we can see here it's definitely a wrong option because 5 and y do not have a plus and in between so this is a wrong answer Given this, if we analyze, just like, as you can see this minus x, just keep it here only, 5 is here, y if it's in that side, we will get minus y, x is there with minus sign, but here we have x with the plus sign, so even definitely this is going to be a wrong option. Let's check the fourth option, we need an equation for x, so x is equal to send y on the other side, so we get 5 minus y, but we need plus y, it means even it's a wrong option. Then what about the first one? Just check this. So x is equal to 5. Just keep it there. Minus 5 when it comes on the other side, we get plus y. See? x is equal to 5 plus y. x is equal to 5 plus y. It means this is the correct answer. See? So easy. Without any too much analyzing, you can not like this. Just explain for you people. But your idea of this linear equations must be very strong during the examination. It means option is x minus y is equal to 5. This is the correct answer. Hope it's clear now. Okay. Now moving for the next one that is question number 4. Okay. 
a quadratic polynomial it means this question is asked from polynomials not quadratic equations it is asked from polynomials a quadratic polynomial whose sum and the product of the zeros are 4 and 5 respectively so then of these four options which one is that quadratic polynomial so that is the question it means sum of the zeros is 4 and the product of the zeros is 5 then using these to sum of zeros and the product of the zeros which equation we can form this is the meaning of the question okay now we'll analyze this question a little bit okay quadratic polynomial whose sum of zeros are four sum of zeros in the sense definitely it is minus b by a if you remember this formula sum of the zeros alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a we don't want alpha plus beta so we'll just take minus b by a so sum of zeros is four no product of the zeros that is alpha into beta that is nothing but p by a so c by a is five now four can be written as four by one five can be written as five by one you just come to this value now a stands for one so therefore a is one now even here a is definitely it's one now b b is equal to four but as you can see b is having minus sign here so then the minus on the other side so we'll get minus sign here Next, C stand for five. So C is equal to five. Now we have values of A, B, and C. Now we form a quadratic polynomial. So the quadratic polynomial is a x square plus b x plus c. This is the general format. You just substitute the values of A, B, C. Okay, A stands for one. So one into x square. It's just x square plus b. The value of b is minus four. So minus four and x. As it is plus c, c is nothing but just five. Okay, that's equal to we get square plus into minus minus four x plus five. It means x square minus four x plus five is the correct answer. And you can see in these four options, option D is the correct answer. P of x is equal to x square minus four x plus five. So hope even this idea of the quadratic polynomial as well as do not get confused here even we have a similar uh, type of sums in quadratic equations. So polynomial and quadratic equations so there is such a hairline difference is there. So usually quadratic polynomial or any type of polynomial we don't write equal to zero or something like that equal to five or equal to eight something like that after the equation. But in quadratic equations we write equal to zero, equal to eight, equal to five some. Equal sign we use there. That's in quadratic equations. But coming to the quadratic polynomial, no equal sign is used. It's all like this. So hope even this fourth question is completely clear for you. Huh? If you have understood these four questions, do not forget to like the video. So just hit that like button. So definitely so that this that this video must reach so many students who are preparing for their final examination. Let's move on the next question. Question number five: The coordinates of the midpoint of a line joining the points O three and two comma one is the coordinate of midpoint. Means we have to use the midpoint formula here. So midpoint formula is nothing but two plus x one or x one plus x two by two. And similarly here, y two plus y one or y one plus y two upon two. We just substitute. X two, so x two, y two, x one, x y one. So just mark it. Huh? It's all entire solving, dear students. Just do not take too much time for this, and do not try to write this one as neatly in your rough solving section. It's all just your rough calculation. So do not spend more time for this rough calculation. Just just as much as possible, decrease your writing and make the calculations in your mind only. So x two e. Two plus x one is as you can see here, it's four by two. So the other side, y two is one plus y one is three by two. Okay, that's equal to four plus two six by two. Three plus one is four by two. So can we divide the numbers? Yes, of course. Two ones are two threes are two ones are two twos are. It means the coordinates are three and two. So just check which option has the coordinate. Yeah. Option C. It means option C 
that three two. This is the correct answer. So hope even this sum is also clear for you all. So in coordinate geometry, we have even area of triangle, distance formula, as well as the section formula. On all the concept and as well as on those formulas, we'll be solving many questions in the coming day. So be with your channel and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Okay. And question number six. Okay, question number six. And this question comes from a lesson called triangle. As you can see, it has three sides. Definitely, even it has a three sides. The other triangle which is compared with this, and these two triangles are similar. One triangles are similar. So many things we can analyze between these two triangles now. For example, the sides are proportional. And that too, which type of sides? The corresponding sides are proportional. It means AB upon B, or you can say B upon AB. So that means D upon AB. That's equal to. As we have taken D here, so even here EF must come. So EF upon BC. So for us, as you can see in the question, EF is asked. So we have EF here. So we need to just substitute these three values. So just from the question itself, just check what's the value of D. It's 4.5. What's the value of AB? AB is 3. That's equal to EF. That we need to find. So keep it like that only. BC, as you can see, B is four. So we like just four. Now we need EF. Let's cross multiply this four on the other side. So what we get? This four point five can be written as forty five by ten. So denominator is already having three. Now this four comes on the other side. So into four. That's equal to EF. We need to just solve this one thing. But so, so as you can see, we want some three. In three people, when forty-five comes, definitely it comes at fifty. Okay, again, as you can see, right? two twos are and two fives are. Five ones are, five threes are. It means the remaining numbers are three and two. So just multiply. Three twos are six. It means option B is the correct answer. That is B six centimeter. Hope even this sum is clear and. So, if you all are already practicing the previous year question papers, you might have come across this type of question many a times because board is repeating this type of question in some different flavors, as you can see, means in some different formats. But the idea behind this, that is similarity concept, that remains the same. So, do not forget the concept. If the question is a little bit twisted, till you can apply the idea. So, for that thing, concept is very, very, very important. So, this is the end of the fifth question. In the first means, still two more questions are remaining, which are MCQ questions. Now we'll continue with those questions. Okay, question number seven. In the figure, as you can see here, and uh, this question is asked from uh, definitely BP and BQ. As you can see, BP and the BQ. These are the tangents to a circle with center O. So here is the center. If angle OPQ. So O P Q. It means this one. This twenty degree. Then find the measurement of P B Q. P B Q. This one measurement is R. Okay. Let's try this one. But one more thing. Do not try every sum by solving. So just some you need to analyze and you need to get the answer from your mind itself so that you can save the time for last question, especially the theorems and the big sums and all those things. So better as much as possible do the calculation in your mind itself only. So coming to this question, what I mean, you just see now in this question, as you can see, it's given 20 degree, and you need to have a common sense as well as the concept idea. O P is the radius, and along with that, even O Q is the radius. So as you can see, O P Q in this, these two sides are same because these are the radii of the same circle. Once these two sides are same, it means definitely these two base angles are also equal. It means if it is twenty degree, even twenty degree. So now we have a triangle POQ. In this two angles measurement, we know so we can calculate the measurement of the third angle. So then by subtracting twenty plus twenty from one eighty. So twenty plus twenty is forty. So one eighty minus forty gives us hundred and forty degree. Wait a second, dear students. We got to answer one forty degree. So 
just without concentrating here and they just if you get like this answer and then we'll check the options and in this we have one 40 degrees so we'll just tick mark that one and after the result you'll come to know that it's a wrong answer so what we do here we have this angle that's 140 degree and we have one one more concept that in this type of diagram that is p o u r in this type of diagram that is when two tangents are touching the circle in such a diagram opposite angle system that angle o and that angle b some of these two is 180 degree so out of these two we have here 140 degree it means the remaining is here in 140 if we add 40 degree that will be 180 degree it means this one is 40 degree and do we have the option of course this is the required answer a 40 degree is that clear okay now the last question from the mcq section a it's the final question from the first to me the total surface area of solid given in the figure is so as you can see the figure is nothing but it's a cone so the cone client height that's the l it's the height of the cone and this is the radius of the cone so these three parameters are given on that chorus it is asked write the surface area the total surface area formula of this cone so for the examination make sure from the surface area and volumes which all diagrams you have every diagram has three formulas except the sphere we are talking about here except the sphere every diagram has three formulas one is lsc one is tsa and one more is yeah very good that's a volume formula so make sure before the examination you must know all the solids and the respected formulas because if such questions asked definitely those formulas will help you a lot now tsa that's total surface area is asked for you these options option a option b option c and option d as you can see option c is the correct answer you may be asking so how is it possible that option c is the correct answer because i know all the formulas on that basis i am writing this so even if you know all the formulas automatically like this analyzation will come see how much fast is on this question because that only i am repeating again and again for you people do not waste too much of time in the final examination just for writing purpose at least your examination must finish 20 to 15 minutes earlier than the final bell so that you can cross check all your answers sentences grammar the presentation the left out part and all those things so make sure your examination must finish at least in 2 hour 45 minutes Definitely, then you'll be retaking all the mistakes and like this question. If it's not just orally, definitely too much of time will take. So, this is the end of the eighth question. What are you going to do now? We'll stop the video here. In the next part, we'll be continuing the same one mark questions, but that will be from Roman number two. So, till then, revise each and every question which is similar to these type of questions and do share this videos with your friends as well them even clarify their doubts if they have any okay this will end the video we will be meeting in the next one more rocking video till then okay and study well